What if I told you that the woman who literally created the foundation of modern AI is about to destroy everything we think we know about it? Meet Fei-Fei Li. You may not know her name unless you're in the AI world, but you use her invention every single day. And now, she's back with a startup so revolutionary that it raised $230 million in just four months and achieved a $1.25 billion valuation faster than almost any AI company in history. But here's the thing that's got Silicon Valley's biggest players sweating. This isn't just another AI company. This could be the moment that makes every current AI system obsolete. I'm talking about World Labs. And if Fei-Fei Li's track record is any indicator, we're about to witness the next seismic shift in AI. Because she doesn't just predict the future of AI, she creates it. Before we dive into why World Labs could fundamentally change everything about how machines understand our world, we need to understand who Fei-Fei Li is and why her previous work literally made companies like OpenAI, Google, and Meta possible in the first place. Fei-Fei Li's story reads like a Silicon Valley fairy tale, but with a twist that makes it even more remarkable. Born in Beijing, she immigrated to the United States as a teenager where her family struggled financially. While her parents worked multiple jobs to make ends meet, Li was quietly revolutionizing how we think about machine intelligence. Here's what most people don't know. Li is the godmother of modern computer vision. In the early 2000s, when everyone thought AI was a dead-end field, Li spent years building something that seemed impossibly ambitious, a dataset called ImageNet. Picture this. Li and her team meticulously labeled over 14 million images across thousands of categories. People thought she was crazy. Why spend years cataloging pictures when AI couldn't even recognize a cat from a dog reliably? But in 2012, everything changed. A neural network called AlexNet, trained on Li's ImageNet dataset by a team that included OpenAI co-founder Ilya Sutskever, didn't just win ImageNet's annual model performance competition, it obliterated every other approach by such a massive margin that it literally launched what we now call the deep learning revolution. Every AI system you've ever used, from your iPhone's camera recognizing faces, to ChatGPT understanding images, to autonomous vehicles navigating streets, traces its DNA back to Fei-Fei Li's ImageNet. Without her foundational work, there would be no modern AI as we know it. She went on to direct Stanford's AI lab, became Google Cloud's chief AI scientist, co-founded Stanford's Institute for Human-Centered AI, and was named to Time Magazine's 2025 list of most influential people in AI. But now, Lee has identified a massive blind spot in all current AI systems, something so fundamental that it could make every breakthrough we've seen so far look like child's play. The problem is that AI today lives in a flat world. Think about it. Multimodal models process text and generate images. Even the most advanced AI systems fundamentally understand the world as a series of 2D representations. They don't truly comprehend that we live in a three-dimensional reality governed by physics, where objects have permanence, where actions have consequences, where space actually matters. When AI tries to generate a video of someone walking through a door, why do people sometimes walk through walls or disappear? Because the AI doesn't understand that doors are barriers in 3D space, that walls are solid objects, that people can't just vanish into thin air. This is a fundamental barrier to creating AI that can truly interact with and understand our physical world. Enter World Labs and what Lee calls spatial intelligence, the holy grail of AI that could change absolutely everything. World Labs isn't building another language model or image generator. They're creating what they call large world models, AI systems that understand 3D space, physics, and the relationships between objects the same way humans do. Imagine describing a scene to an AI and having it generate not just a picture, but an entire 3D world you can walk through, where objects behave according to physics. If you drop a basketball, it bounces realistically. When you turn a corner, the architecture is consistent from every angle. This isn't just impressive, 
it's revolutionary. Because for the first time, we have AI that doesn't just process information about the world, but actually understands the world as a spatial, physical environment. The implications of this breakthrough are staggering, and they extend far beyond just cooler video games or better virtual reality. Think about robotics. Right now, robots need to be pre-programmed with maps of their environment. With spatial intelligence, robots could navigate and understand new spaces the way humans do by seeing, reasoning, and adapting in real time. Consider architecture and design. Instead of spending months creating 3D models and renderings, architects could describe their vision and have AI instantly generate explorable 3D spaces that clients can walk through and modify in real time. Take medical imaging. Instead of doctors looking at flat X-rays or MRI scans, AI could generate interactive 3D models of organs and systems that medical professionals could analyze from every conceivable angle. But here's where it gets really interesting. World Labs represents a fundamental shift in how we think about AI, while everyone else is racing to build bigger language models or more sophisticated image generators. Lee is solving the underlying problem of how AI understands reality itself. This is potentially an iPhone moment for AI. Just like the iPhone didn't just improve phones, instead it created an entirely new computing paradigm, spatial intelligence could create an entirely new AI paradigm. Current AI companies have invested billions in systems that fundamentally operate in a 2D world. If World Labs succeeds in making spatial intelligence the new standard, it could render massive chunks of the current AI landscape obsolete almost overnight. Why would you use an AI that can only generate flat images when you could use one that creates entire 3D worlds? Why would you invest in robotics systems that need pre-mapped environments when you could have robots with human-like spatial reasoning? The fact that World Labs raised $230 million from top-tier investors like Andreessen Horowitz and New Enterprise Associates in just four months tells you everything you need to know about the startup's potential. And the traditional AI giants are nowhere to be found. Google, OpenAI, Meta, they're all focused on scaling up their existing approaches. None of them are fundamentally rethinking how AI understands space and physics. This gives World Labs a massive first-mover advantage in what could be the most important AI breakthrough since deep learning itself. Of course, this isn't without massive challenges. Creating AI that truly understands 3D space and physics is incredibly computationally expensive. There are also questions about whether the technology can scale beyond impressive demonstrations to complex and variable real-world applications. Some critics argue that World Labs is overhyped, that spatial intelligence might be incredibly difficult to monetize, or that existing AI approaches might evolve to incorporate 3D understanding without needing a complete paradigm shift. Whether World Labs will actually deliver on this revolutionary promise remains to be seen, but betting against the person who literally invented the foundation of modern AI seems like a dangerous gamble. What do you think? Is spatial intelligence the next major breakthrough in AI? Or is World Labs just really good marketing around incremental improvements? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the technologies that are reshaping our world.